Galazano Children's Hospital has introduced new technology to enhance communications on a day-to-day -day basis. It's being used by the surgical team. Natalie Kuchko explains how it works. Back in November, Elemental Health introduced its digital platform to Golisano Children's with the goal of more effective communication between nurses and doctors in the palm of their hands. Tremendous disorganization within the actual operations at the patient bedside. That's the problem we wanted to solve. Dr. Arup Roy Berman is the founder of Elemental Health and a former director of the ICU at UCSF Children's Hospital in California. Years ago, Dr. Roy Berman lost his sister to a medical error in the operating room, a problem he says that is unfortunately being seen more often in the medical field. Elemento was eventually designed as an encyclopedia for critical medical information and is used to streamline communication in operating rooms and beyond. Dr. Marjorie Arca's surgical team at Golisano Children's Hospital has put this technology in place. About 30 to 40 percent of, of kids' surgeries are emergencies, so it's a really good uh, resource for them uh, to look up what we have and how we do it um, so that they know. It enables you to be um, a lot more effective and a lot more efficient where you're caring for a child. Dr. Arca says the software has been instrumental in readying her staff for pediatric surgeries and procedures. The immediate feedback is something that's being used across the country, with New York instating it for the first time locally. I've spent 20 years in critical care medicine um, in a lot of fantastic institutions around the country. But in every one of them, I continue to see patients dying from preventable errors. Errors made by well-intentioned, hardworking, well-educated staff who simply couldn't pull the information they needed when they needed it. Dr. Arca adds some staff who've come to Golisano from other hospitals have used this tool before. And since it's now being used in New York for the first time, leaders are hopeful it'll be adapted at other health care facilities statewide. In studio, Natalie Kuchko, News 8. Natalie, thank you. To learn more about the program, visit our website, rochesterfirst.com.